Okay, so Luca is the brand new movie from Pixar that's debuting on Disney+. Plus, and it uh, stars Jacob Tremblay, Jack Dylan Grazer, Maya Rudolph, Jim Gaffigan. And there's one surprise cameo that I actually did not see coming. So, hey, good on you, Pixar, for keeping that a secret. And it's about two fish who live in this ocean by this town. And they learn that when they go on land, they learn that they can actually like stop being fish and they can become humans. And... They have their own fun adventure while, as humans, it's kind of, it sounds confusing when I say it out loud, but it really isn't, as I'll explain. So, I was not, I was not necessarily looking forward to this movie, I kind of had to keep reminding myself, hey, there's a new Pixar movie coming out, and I remember, like, the trailers were alright, they looked fun, they looked lighthearted enough, and I was definitely disappointed when they announced, hey, we're going to put Luca on Disney+, Plus because there's still a pandemic out there. And I thought with movie theaters opening back up, you would think that uh, Luca would, you know, make a big splash on the big screen. That, that's probably going to be the only pun in this video. And so I kind of had to keep reminding myself, hey, this movie's coming out. Let's, I got to watch it this week. And I watched it last night, and um, it's not bad by any means. Is it as good as some of Pixar's classics? Unfortunately, no. Now, I'm a big Pixar fan, as you can tell. So, and it's weird that this is a movie that I'm just not really the biggest fan of, like, so, I don't know. So, what's wrong with this movie? Honestly, let's start at the beginning. Let's start with the good things. Uh, this movie is beautifully animated for the most part, and I say that because, like, when they get to the land, that's really beautiful to look at. That's really great. It's full of detail. It's very unique. It's very... It's just great to look at. I'm never going to say a Pixar movie looks terrible by any means, but, like, when you go on land, it looks a lot more interesting than Under the Water. And I figured, like, Under the Water would also be interesting for its own reasons, but it isn't, unfortunately. But, uh, we'll move on. Also, the characters, they're likable enough. You do support them. You do want them to succeed. Well, at least you do want the protagonist to succeed, at least. And, you know, they're not necessarily bad. Like, their voice acting is fine, it's passable, but you never really feel any emotional punch. Like, you feel like these characters could have been played by anyone. Not like something like, say, oh, you know, only Ellen DeGeneres could play Dory, or only John Goodman and Billy Crystal could play Mike and Sully. My, yeah. And so, I just never really felt like these characters really, these actors really embodied their characters, unfortunately. Um, also, the message about friendship is nice. This movie has a few messages about how, you know, you about friendship, about making new friends, about, you know, being brave, about being, you know, about, like, hiding yourself and, like, you know, eventually, eventually saying, like, uh, you know, showing yourself and, like, telling others about yourself. That's where, you know... Things will really work out for you. I think the message overall of the movie is nice. It's good. It's handled well, like I, most Pixar movies are. So it's like, even like in some of the bad Pixar movies, like say, I don't know, like Onward, like that's my first example. Like even though I wasn't the biggest fan of Onward, the message of that movie worked enough to go, okay, you got me, Pixar. And unfortunately here, that kind of leads into the cons. I feel like the message of the movie, while nice and mostly well handled, for some reason there wasn't an emotional punch for me. It's not like, aw, it's like, you'd think they're going to go there, like, with a twist in the third act. And it's like, uh, okay, fine. They never really address it again, unfortunately. Like, they address it in one more scene after that, but other than that, not too much, unfortunately. It just, again, there was no real emotional punch for me with this movie. Um, as far as the story goes, it seems very simple. It has a very simple setup very simple everything basically like let's just do the bare minimum like underwater scenes like they there's not really that much interesting about the underwater scenes uh the villain is also very generic it's probably the most generic villain for a movie like this uh he's annoying he's brutish he's just <sighs> honestly i cared more about the bear and brave than i did about this movie how is that possible? I don't know. But, yeah, it has a bland villain. The main characters don't really have that many, that, that strong of a goal, so it's not like, it's kind of hard to, like, really get connected to, like, what they're trying to do throughout this entire movie. 
Uh, the jokes, for the most part, are very kind of bland for the most part. Like, they kind of do like, oh, I'm going to go, and then one hour later, they're still there. It just didn't work for me that way. Also, there's like a running gag with uh, uh, Luca's parents, voiced by Maya Rudolph and Jim Gaffigan. That is funny at first, but when you really think about it, it's pretty dark when they actually, like, do this joke again throughout the entire movie. And it's like, oh, that's kind of funny. I was like, wait. Oh, God. Is that what they're doing to... How? Uh, yeah. I didn't like that. It's like, it was funny at first, but it just... I guess I made it weird. But no one thought, like, no one thought that was, like, problematic. Oh, well. Uh, Meanwhile, the set, there's no explanation for anything, really. Like, there's no explanation for why they turn into humans when they go to land. There's no real explanation as to why Luca is kind of seen as an outcast. Like, you kind of see at the beginning, like, he's doing his chores and he kind of, like, annoys some of his neighbors but other than that, not really a whole lot. It's just, again, they just do the bare minimum. And I'm sorry, the bare minimum just doesn't cut it for me anymore. It just doesn't really work. And I feel like this movie is mostly for, like, young kids. Like, very young kids. Like, um, like elementary school kids. Like, I feel like a lot of Pixar movies... They know how to please, you know, kids, adults, pretty much anyone of any age. This movie is kind of like, I don't know, the, like the good dinosaur, the first Cars movie or something like that, where it's kind of feels mostly for kids rather than for everyone. And I think that's one of the biggest letdowns of this movie. Um, again, the, the characters are fine. The message is nice. The animation is gorgeous. Uh, voice acting is alright, you do sympathize with everyone in the movie, the score is also really good too, it's just, as a movie, like, how, like, they put the pieces together, I just don't really like, um, this is kind of one of Pixar's lower tier movies in my opinion, I feel like I'm being too hard on this movie, but at the same time, I'm like, I know Pixar has done it over and over again, they've made phenomenal movies over and over again, and... This definitely does feel like a step down after Soul, but kind of in, on par with movies like Onward. But I know a lot of people really like Onward, and maybe people will really like this. So, you know, we'll wait and see. I guess I can kind of see why they moved it from theaters to Disney+, Plus. to be honest. Like, Soul, that was just understandable. The, the pandemic was really bad here in the U.S. when it was released. But now, now I understand why. It's just not as strong as the others. So, Luca, it's strong. It's it's great for young kids, but really not for anyone else. Morals are good. Voice acting's fine. But, again, the way they put pieces together. Didn't care for it. So, I'll give Luca two and a half out of four stars. Stream it. And now you can on Disney+. Plus. So, while we're at it, uh, be sure to check out next week sometime. Probably Tuesday, I think. That's probably my best day to do it. I will be ranking all the Pixar movies, including Luca, all 24 of them. Oh, man, that's going to be a long video. So I got to get that list ready. So what did you think of Luca? And what is your least favorite Pixar movie? Uh, comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. And this is Pat. And stay safe.